ตาแนน In the last couple of videos, we've been brewing a lot of drip bags from the Lucky Fortune Coffee. So it got me thinking. What would be the difference of brewing with your regular V60 versus brewing in a drip bag? So Anna actually ordered these, and it was just it was just the right timing because I was wondering what would be the difference in brewing in a drip bag versus your V60 with your very special coffee. Is it is it fine? Is it okay to just Grind your coffee beforehand and then put it in a drip bag and then when you travel you just bring this instead So for today's video, we're gonna compare a coffee brewed inside a regular drip bag Like a travel drip bag versus a v60 using um, The same coffee beans the same grind size and the same water temperature So for today's coffee, we're gonna use Sicho Belize from Yardstick Coffee Right, so we're gonna weigh two 10 grams um, of the Sicho Belize. That's 10 grams. And then we're gonna do another 10 grams. So for this coffee, we're gonna do 20 clicks on the Comandante. The question that I really want to answer with this experiment is can you really get away with a drip bag for someone who travels a lot and doesn't have the luxury of bringing all the brewing equipments that he wants or that she wants can you really get away with using your favorite beans and then using your um, proper grinder and then the right temperature but in a drip bag sometimes you find yourself in a in an airport and then you simply can't set up all your gears right with this experiment um, I want to I want to see and find out if a drip bag can be a replacement for the whole equipment of like regular v60 and then all those things right Okay, again, a V60 to the rescue. I'm gonna use the glass V60 as a funnel so that I can put the coffee grounds in it. Okay, so I'm gonna use the, <laughs> I'm gonna use a French press as a server for this brew. Okay, there. So for 10 grams, we're looking at a 1 is to 15 ratio. So we're gonna put 150 ml of water. Right? Okay. <clears throat> Should I use a scale? If the point of this experiment is if we can get away with the drip bag instead of bringing all the brewing equipments when we travel so the scale we, we cannot use a scale oh this is gonna be hard okay so i'm just gonna pour okay so let's see how much water did we end up with Oh, not bad. That is 166. Now we're going to do a normal V60. Okay, now we have two different coffees. One brewed in a drip bag and another one brewed with a V60. I'm hoping that the drip bag can can do the job for you. Okay, the tests that we're doing today um, will depend on taste only. We're not gonna use the R2 um, to 
measure the level of extraction just the taste so if you can actually enjoy a coffee with the drip bag then it's a good thing right okay <laughs> They actually taste almost the same. If you judge it by the taste alone, um, you can actually get away with a with a drip bag because um, I'm getting the same taste, right? So if you're not gonna nitpick on the end brew itself, um, you can actually get the same taste. Yeah, it's not so it's not so bad. So if, if it comes down to you, you really don't have a choice, you can't get a V60 anywhere, or you don't have a paper, um, you can actually get away with it. Um, it makes decent coffee. Of course, uh, some, some major coffee brands make coffee um, and then they sell it in these drip bags. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna test more coffees uh, i'm gonna compare more coffees between the v60 and the drip bag for 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 better comparison right now my conclusion is it it makes decent coffee it's not bad yeah so for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye